this video can be found on a public domain in the full disclaimers down below. Hey, welcome back to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. I wish you lots of love and many blessings. Tuesday, February 9th, we all know that Jack and Princess Eugenie had their little baby at the Portland Hospital. But here's what we didn't know. The Queen had her people contact the Portland Hospital, but why? The hospital were instructed to please not allow any bit of this, any of the labor and delivery process to be leaked out at that time. They didn't want anybody finding out. And you would think it would be just purely out of respect for the couple allow them to have their baby in peace and privacy, but that was not the main reason. This is so sad, but they didn't want to risk everybody finding this out and Harry and Meghan coming out and, you know, pulling one of their stunts. How sad. That was pushed by Sarah, who's not a fan of Meghan. In the beginning, Sarah tried her best to be friendly with Meghan. Then she soon found out who she really was. Remember the wedding of Eugenie and Jack? That's where Megan decided she was going to announce her pregnancy, quote unquote. That started a huge bit of problems between Sarah and Charles. Sarah was so upset with Megan and Harry for pulling that off during the wedding. And she noticed that on Twitter, everybody was talking about this pregnancy, not her daughter's wedding. So she decided she was going to lambast just open up on Twitter, one tweet after the next, talking about nothing but the wedding, trying to steal back the thunder that Meghan and Harry stole from Eugenie and Jack. She had words with Charles over this, and she and Charles used to be good friends. Now, according to what I've read, Charles told her, I don't have any control over Harry and Meghan. I can't help they did what they did. And that entire situation got between the friendship that Sarah and Charles once had. That being the situation, Sarah had gone to the queen asking, listen, can we just have this private? I don't want it leaking out. It's just not fair to Eugenie and Jack or the baby. The queen agreed, and that's when she contacted the Portland Hospital. And speaking of Harry and Meghan, now they privately wished Eugenie and Jack congratulations. But now Meghan and her people are putting out there all about the Portland Hospital and her great experience giving birth <laughs> to Archie. You guys, she's trying to make it out like she pioneered this whole Portland hospital thing for the royal family. Trying to make it look like, hey, I started a trend here. No more Lindo wing. They're giving birth at the Portland hospital because I did. Talk about big head itis. She's got it. And she continues to put her sugars on Prince Charles and the Queen. A ton of people are asking that the Queen and Prince Charles both be stripped of their titles. They're saying back in the 70s she herself got involved in a political way. The Queen had her own lawyers, put a lot of pressure on the ministers to alter proposed legislation to keep her shareholdings and her investments under wraps. And that was to be sealed until 2011. And I find all of this, the timing, quite suspicious. And Meghan and Harry's supporters have come out online just going after, you know, the Queen and Charles. I mean, ugly stuff. Strip them now, calling them hypocrites. Every name in the book. Why aren't Harry and Meghan out there preaching to their people about online compassion? And so the Queen stressed to Harry and Meghan as a part of their Mexit deal. Stay apolitical, don't get involved. And, of course, they've blown that completely off in one ear and out the next. They've been involved with all sorts of political figures, even before leaving the royal family. This one I find quite bizarre, and I'll tell you why. So Gavin Newsom sat down and had a little hour-long meeting with Harry and Meghan. Gavin Newsom's the governor of California, and they're saying this hour-long sit-down on Zoom had nothing to do with Harry. He had zero interest at all in Harry. Harry was totally excluded, is what I'm being told from this meeting. He was not directed or conversed with. Nobody wanted anything to do with him. It was all about Meghan, all her political views. Yet his people are telling, you know, the media, oh, we just wanted to welcome Meghan to California. She was born and raised there. <laughs> Doesn't that sound a little weird? 
we've always known that her main goal was to be in politics, American politics. I've been told that her friends are keeping her quite busy in the political world. And as a result, Harry's kind of feeling left out and all alone. So he's decided to take it upon himself to have a podcast of his very own. It'll have nothing to do with Megan and everything to do with his former life. He plans on doing six episodes and it's going to be filled with advice supporting NHS workers. It'll be based on lessons learned by the Invictus community during its own recovery. You know, y'all, the direction of this podcast speaks volumes to me. It's centered around everything he used to personally be involved with back home. This right here should show you where his heart is. It's not in California, it's not with Megan, and it's not with this country. And I don't fault him for it. He's homesick, clearly. Women's Day magazine put out an article that said he's feeling lonely and isolated. Not only does he miss his former life, he misses his friends, but most of all, he misses his brother. I don't care how many Zoom calls he's on where he's putting up fake fronts. He hasn't been happy for a while. Now, that's just my opinion, and I'm clearly going on their actions. Together, when they're caught off guard, they look miserable together, don't they? And I halfway expect him not to return from the UK this summer. Halfway expect it. It will not shock me and it won't surprise me. You know what, you guys? I keep finding these same ridiculous stories about Archie and his grandmother's special relationship on Zoom calls. Now, supposedly, none of these royal people have seen Archie since he was six months old. I'm not really buying into the fact that he loves to have Zoom calls with his granny. I don't think that if he is around that those even take place. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't fit what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so tired of these puff pieces trying to convince everybody that they have a special relationship. I'm just not buying into it. It's getting quite old. Oh, and keep an eye out for the four o'clock determination. Judge Warby is going to decide, do we take this all the way or do we just go ahead and rule? I'm looking forward to it. I hope you're having a really good day today. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Please stay safe and be blessed.